vitamins are essential for the body. The cold season can be bad for health, especially if you do not support the body with vitamins and physical activity. Doctors advise to constantly replenish the deficiency of nutrients, and in winter, more than ever. Vitamins belong to the group of micronutrients, that is, the body always needs them, but in small doses, the count goes to miles or even micrograms. There are three types of deficiency. The first is beriberi, the complete absence of any vitamin. The second is hypervitaminosis, partial absence. And the third is the so-called subnormal supply. You can replenish the vitamin balance in the body by correctly compiling a daily menu, which means that you can get acquainted with each vitamin and find out in which products they are contained. Vitamin C, the scorbic acid, has been considered by scientists as a panacea for respiratory infection since the 1930s. But the theory's popularity peaked in the 1970s, when Nobel laureate Linus Pauling published Vitamin C and the Common Cold. The daily norm of the vitamin is 60 to 80 milligrams. You can replenish the reserves of ascorbic acid by adding greens, apples, currants, citrus fruits, bell peppers, and rose hips to the diet. Vitamin E, also known as tocopherol, is a collective image. It includes eight fractions of this substance, alpha, beta, delta, gamma tocopherol and alpha, beta, delta, gamma tocotrienol. Tocopherol is translated as producing offspring, carrying life. And scientific studies have confirmed its importance in maintaining reproductive functions. Also, vitamin E is the basis for the production of hormones and enzymes. It is needed by the body for the synthesis of collagen in the subcutaneous layer and bones. The daily norm of tocopherol is 7 to 25 milligrams. Since vitamin E is fat-soluble, it can be replenished primarily with vegetable oils, linseed, olive, corn, sunflower. But the highest dose of the substance in wheat germ oil is 149.4 mg. Vitamin E is found in nuts, seeds, leafy salads, greens, broccoli, avocados, legumes. Vitamin A This substance, isolated from fats, was first dubbed growth factor. From food, it enters the body under the guise of its predecessors, carotenoids and retinol. The latter is involved in the synthesis of the visual pigment rhodopsin, which is produced in the retina. You cannot do without this vitamin and tissue regeneration, it protects the skin from premature aging. In its pure form, vitamin A can only be found in animal products, milk, butter, eggs, liver. In plant foods, it is in the form of carotenoids. They are rich in tomatoes and carrots. The daily norm of vitamin A is 900 micrograms. Solar vitamin D. Once it was called nothing but born of light. That the lack of this substance leads to rickets, English doctors learned in the Middle Ages. Later, fish oil received the status of a cure for this disease. And in 1919, scientists came to the conclusion that sunlight can also defeat it. The daily dose of vitamin D is 10 micrograms. It can be obtained from fermented milk products, raw egg yolks, butter, seafood, and fish liver. B vitamins. First of all, they are involved in the work of many body systems. For example, B12 is cyanocobalamin. It is he who is most often lacking in vegetarians and the elderly. Without B3, you cannot do with cell division, the synthesis of hormones. It dilates blood vessels and at the same time fights bad cholesterol. Vitamin B6 is important and valuable. Often B vitamins are recommended in cases of anemia, neurological and psychiatric disorders, neurosis, prolonged depression, apathy. The daily norm of B6 is 700 to 900 micrograms. The best source of the substance is beef liver and kidneys, see fish. B3 can be obtained in large quantities from liver, tuna, turkey and brewer's yeast. It is also found in plant foods, potatoes, legumes, nuts, green leafy vegetables.